1954 meets 2018. We're taking this old school helmet and we're bringing it into the 21st century. Steve, we're going all the way back to the 50s with this one. Yeah, buddy, 1954. 1954 helmet that we're going to be upgrading uh, to kind of bring it a little bit into the 21st century. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be a YA Tittle. Cool. And he just passed away last year. He's 90 years old. Um, but he was a big, big time player back in the 50s and 60s. Before we get into that, though, I just want to say, hey, if you like these types of videos that we're putting out, then please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when we put out more videos like this and leave us comments of what you want to see in the future because we're here for you and we do these types of videos because you keep asking for them until someone starts sending us money to do a certain type of video. I like that. Maybe we'll do that. Anyway, we've got here a very classic and kind of rare helmet. Yeah, that thing is kind of no joke. Yes. That is the real face mask. Th th this is, not only is this the real face mask, but you have this kind of little, like a coffee cup <laughs> handle yeah. on this thing, right? It seems yeah. ridiculous. It does seem ridiculous, and I I'll tell you, I don't know what it was for, except for where a handle to hold the helmet. Must have been some sort of uh, handle yeah. to, uh, so to for, mount So for you yeah. old school guys, really old school oh, guys that are school. watching, leave a comment below, let us know, what was the handle for right. on these helmets uh, in the 50s? This is not the helmet worn by Tittle uh, when he played for the Giants. This is a helmet worn by Tittle when he played for the 49ers. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is, you know, this is actually a design that we're doing for someone. They sent us all the pieces and we kind of took a couple of pieces that we have ourselves and we're kind of putting this thing together to make it as close to authentic as possible if this was the helmet worn by Tittle in this, when he played with the Giants in the 60s. But it's just a cooler helmet than the one that he wore with the Giants. So we Basically what we did is we kind of stripped this whole thing down, we repainted it, uh, Giants blue, put the Giants red stripe on here, um, and I, we, we powder coated the handle, uh, the, the gray that the Giants would have worn back then. I mean, I, I've never really had an attraction to these old school helmets. I think they're super goofy looking, although I get what makes this one so sweet. It's modernized. The paint job is ridiculous. It didn't look like this in 1954. Well, Steve, I can agree with you on one thing. I think they're super goofy looking too. <laughs> yeah, but... Like it's, it's where we started, right? It's what they came from. As a matter of fact, you know, th this helmet that you have your hands on right now was really the first model of plastic um, because up until like 1951, they were still using leather. Um, in like 1948, they were still leather. It was a rigid leather, so... It's kind of cool that this is the first plastic shell. And you got to remember that back then they were making helmets for the purpose of protecting the skull from breaking. It was to protect Fracture, the skull right? from literally from keeping your head from cracking and also to try to prevent cauliflower ear. Although, come on, you have a quarter inch padding in there. So, well, whatever. I tell you what, man, Tittle was a beast in his in his own right. You Steve, know, he, Steve, tell us about him. All right, well, he played in the NFL, or I should say he played American football for 17 years, Jay. Like, back then? That's ridiculous. I mean, you really had to be the man's man. And there's that iconic photo of him where he got smacked and he's in the end zone, his helmet's off and he's bloody. I mean, that was really vicious game back then. Um, but he finished his career with the New York Giants, and it was from 61 to 64 that he had an outstanding career. Three years in a row took the Giants to the championship. Didn't actually get to win one, but three years in a row went to the championship. To kind of make it a little bit more modern, we're going to add an American flag, an NFL shield decal we're also adding the commemorative decal that the giants wore in 2017 after um till died yep. and then we're going to put one of our own little decals on there that's right that we just got in this will be the first time we're even using it for anything oh yeah keep your eyes out because you will see this guy on the sidelines or at least in very good seats in the bleachers. Yeah, so we've we've worked on a couple of Giants helmets for 
our friend up in New York who goes to every single game, Steve, because I think he's around the 45-yard line or so. And uh, away he, and home. Away and home. And, he and wears, London. He wears Giants helmets. Oh, I think he wears a different helmet to every single game. I want to see from our viewers, let us know, you know, leave a comment if you've seen this, this guy who we're talking about. I guarantee you some people know. I'm going to give a shout out to my nephew, John. <laughs> What's up, nephew buddy? Nephew John. Yeah. Yeah. So he recently found our helmet builds and I think he's in love. So good to hear from him. And uh, John, welcome aboard. That's right. Up until last year, recently anyway, currently, uh, the, uh, the U.S. flag decals on NFL helmets were on the right side of the rear of the helmet. Uh, that's and, right. And then in 2017, they switched it to the left side. The Giants and, and all the teams kind of get to choose where, choose where they wanted to put it. So the Giants put it right up against their stripe on the left side of the helmet. Obviously, back in the 50s and the 60s, they didn't have. U.S. flags. I'm not sure when they started using them. I would guess it would probably be like 80s. There you go. And we've got our new transfer decals here, Steve. So we, a while ago, we went out and we got some transfer decals that were they they work great on, you know, mugs and laptops and stuff like that. But they were a little bit too big to put on helmets. So. We wanted one that would work good on the back of a helmet. Yeah, so I think we're going to be using these pretty much on everything we build from now on because they look so freaking cool. <laughs> See that? What do you got? What's it look like? Let me see. See if we got to polish it up first. <laughs> See, so here's what we got for the back. American flag, 14, 14 over here. And then we got our logo, and then we got the NFL logo. NY on the sides, and this, this really cool handle. Mm -hmm. NY over here, 14 in the front. Dude, put it on your head. That here we go, Steve. You that ready? chin strap is lovely. Ready? Yeah. There we <laughs> go. Let's strap her up. How's this? I tell you what, man. You just got to get the stiff arm pose going in it. <laughs> Can I? Yeah. Does that does that work? I guess this is the this is the air for it. Sure, right? Hell yeah! So here we have it, Steve. Our first, we'll call it a classic. Oh yeah, yeah super classic sure. helmet. This is the suspension helmet from the 1950s that Y. A. Tittle wore. So, yes, yeah, Steve. I can't fathom <laughs> a guy playing 16 years. Yeah, 17. 17 years wearing this. I agree. I don't know how. I, and he lived to 90. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. Remarkable. Good for, any, good for all those guys, I guess, if they can get through it. Definitely. Yeah, so listen, really appreciate it. Let us know how you like this thing. Do you want to see more uh, videos of helmets like this, or should we stick to the new, you know, the Speed Flexes and the, you know, F7s? We haven't done one of those yet. Yeah. Um, but we've got one coming, don't worry. Soon. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.